What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a little while back I made a video talking about how I would love to see a perk in Warzone that would allow you to put armor plates in a little bit faster, and this would be a great perk for really aggressive players, or players that really like getting themselves into those stress situations. I think it would be a great addition to the game, something that could maybe even compete with the ghost perk, so there'd be a bit more playstyle variety. And with that video, I did have quite a few comments with people saying Amped is what does this. Amped is what helps you put armor plates in faster. And it turns out this is really only partially true. And I wanted to go over the details of this. I want to take a good look at the Amped perk in Warzone and how it interacts with putting armor plates in. So as most of us probably already know, and as the description states, the primary purpose of the Amped perk is to help you swap weapons faster. Now it also helps with your rocket launcher reload time, and it will also help you throw certain equipment faster. But the primary purpose is to swap your weapon faster, and there is no mention at all about being able to put in armor plates faster. And it turns out this is the case. There is no hidden stat here with the amped perk that speeds up the amount of time it takes from putting one armor plate in to putting the next armor plate in. For those curious, it takes exactly 1.45 seconds for each armor plate once the animation has started, and this is exactly the same with or without Amped. However, that's not to say that Amped doesn't help speed up the entire process of putting armor plates in. As we already know, Amped helps with your weapon swap time, and our weapon swap time is actually a combination of two different stats. It's going to be the lower time of the gun that's currently in your hand, plus the raise time of the gun that you're swapping to. These are the actual characteristics that are coded into the game with the raise and the lower time, and Amped essentially just speeds up your raise and your lower time. And it turns out it still does work for your raise and lower time as you initiate putting armor plates in, and once you're finished putting the armor plates in. So from the moment I activate starting to put armor plates in, that would be the moment my hipfire crosshairs disappear, to the moment the actual armor plate animation begins, which is the moment that you can see the armor indicator on the bottom right instead of the weapon, that time and also the time after you're done the animation, so when that armor symbol on the bottom right once again turns back into the gun until the gun is ready to fire, which is once again when your hipfire crosshairs appear again, those times are both impacted by Amped, somewhat, and it's a little bit inconsistent depending on the weapon. So I did some tests with some of the more common guns that you see in the game right now. Of course, the first one I wanted to test is the FFAR, which is by far the most used gun at the moment. And with this one, without Amped, our raise time is 868 milliseconds, our lower time is 717 milliseconds, and the total amount of time from the moment I initiate putting armor plates in until my gun is back up and ready to go again when putting in three armor plates is 7.24 seconds. Then with Amped, our raise and lower times are both improved, but mostly our lower time, which is the amount of time it takes to start the armor animation. And in total for three armor plates with Amped equipped, it takes 6.51 seconds. So in total, this is roughly a 10% change with the FFAR for the total process of putting three armor plates in. And that translates to a time saving of 730 milliseconds, which in a really stressed situation, 730 milliseconds can absolutely make the difference between life or death in a gunfight. Keep in mind, most of the competitive guns in this game kill faster than 730 milliseconds against three armor plates. Now, taking a look at the MAC-10, I'll just put the numbers on screen. I don't have to read all the numbers out for you guys, but you can see once again, we have a roughly 9.5% change to the overall time for three armor plates. So very similar to the FFAR here. Then for the CAR-98, I thought I'd throw this in here because a lot of people often have the CAR-98 as a secondary, and it might be interesting to know if it's better for you to plate up with the CAR-98 in your hand, or are you better off swapping over to an FFAR or a MAC-10 and then put your armor plates in. It turns out with this one, we actually get a roughly 15% saving with Amped. And if we are using Amped, you actually complete the armor plating process with three armor plates faster than you will with an FFAR in your hand. If you don't have Amped though, then it will actually be slower than the FFAR, which is also quite interesting to point out. But finally, I wanted to try an LMG, because LMGs tend to have the slowest raise and lower times out of all the guns. That's one of the things that keeps the LMGs in check. And as of right now, I would say the most used LMG in Warzone would be the Stoner 63. And with this one, I actually found it very interesting. Without Amped, you basically don't have a lower time for some reason on the stoner. It's instant. You immediately start that animation for putting armor plates in. However, our raise time when we finish putting the armor plates in, this is 1535 milliseconds, which is an extremely long time. That's a second and a half just to get your gun back up once you're done putting plates in. Now, comparing that to when we are using Amped with the stoner 63, 
it actually adds a lower time when putting armor plates on with the stoner, which is interesting. So it actually takes more time to initiate the process of putting armor plates in. However, it sort of makes up for that by improving our raise time by quite a bit. It's now just over a second instead of a second and a half. And at the end of it, we still get a net 2% improvement to our total time to put in three armor plates. So technically speaking, if we are considering the full amount of time to put in armor plates, yes, the Amped perk does help you complete that entire process faster, but it doesn't speed up the actual animation of putting the plates themselves in. Additionally, this isn't going to be consistent at all. It's going to vary widely depending on the gun that's in your hand when you initiate that animation. Just out of the four guns that I tested here, I saw a range from a 2% improvement all the way up to a 14% improvement. So it does depend a lot on the gun and it's not consistent at all. As a result, I actually stand behind what I said in that video. I still think it would be excellent to have a perk or add this as a characteristic to an existing perk, something that will slightly speed up the actual animation of putting the armor plates in. Not just your razor lower time, but the animation itself. I think especially if this were put in the same category as the ghost perk, and maybe give it some other kind of perk as well. I don't know if it would be good enough as its own perk. But if we had a perk with that characteristic competing against the ghost perk, I think a lot of the aggressive players out there would start switching away from ghost, and I think this would be a good thing. It would lead to more perk variety in the game. Because as of right now, there's really not a whole lot of reason to not be using the ghost perk by the time you get to the end game in Warzone. In fact, in the game's current state, you're typically putting yourself at a pretty big disadvantage if you don't select the ghost perk. So yeah, I'd like to see some better competition where you'd actually be able to gain some extra advantages over a ghost user, and it would be worthwhile to choose something aside from ghost. Of course, that is just my thought on that, and that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comments section below. First up, were you aware that Amped technically allows you to put plates in faster? And second, what do you guys think about the idea of adding a perk into Warzone that would actually allow you to increase the speed of that animation itself? Do you think this would be a good addition, especially if it were competing against the ghost perk, or do you think it would be harmful to the gameplay overall? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.